Hello everyone and welcome to the Vortex where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris coming to you from the heart of Europe, the foothills of the Italian Alps. Europe is undergoing a massive change. It's been talked about here and there in a somewhat spotty manner, but it bears more attention. We thought being here in northern Italy would be a good place to shine a spotlight on the topic even more, and the topic is, is the gigantic population transformation going on in Europe right now, today. Across the heartland of the former Christian, read Catholic, civilization, oftentimes called Christendom, the population is imploding. There are not enough children, to put it simply, not enough children to advance European life into the future. For a civilization to continue from one generation to the next and beyond, there must be a fertility rate of 2.1. That means, on average, every couple must have slightly more than two children, one to replace the mother, one to replace the father, hence the term replacement rate. The .1 in the 2.1 comes in to make up for the children who will sadly die in childhood of disease or accident or violence. So, for a population to continue replacing itself, parents must have slightly more than two children. Again, that's a statistical anomaly. Here in Italy, just as one example from Europe, that has not happened in over 20 years. Currently, Italy's fertility rate is 1.4, not nearly enough to replace itself. Since 1993, the number of native-born Italians has actually shrunk by a third of a million. Bottom line, there are fewer Italians, get this, there are fewer Italians on Earth today than there were 20 years ago. Add to this that the fertility rate fell below the all-important 2.1 children per couple in 1977 and has never recovered. And the timing makes perfect sense. The age of contraception was dawning and use of birth control became widespread. By the time the children of the 70s grew up and started not having their own children, the results started showing up in the demographic charts in the 1990s. These statistics are masked by various immigrants coming into Italy, which makes the overall Italian population look somewhat stable, but that's citizens, not native-born Italians. And this phenomenon is happening all over Europe. Not one country in Europe is even close to replacing itself. Every one of them, every single European country has a fertility rate below replacement levels. This means there are fewer native-born Englishmen walking around today than there were 20 years ago. Fewer Spanish, fewer French, Portuguese, Germans, Dutch, Austrians, Hungarians, Russians, Croatians, Poles, Bulgarians, and Greeks. Europe is fading away, and it's fading away because of contraception and abortion. Christian Europe, Catholic Europe, is birth controlling itself right out of existence. Catholic nations of Europe have succumbed to the legacy of the Protestant heresy and exchanged the church's sexual teaching for sexual gratification. And they are now beginning to pay the price for their rebellion. But more than just the raw numbers, a basic foundational change is occurring within, within these numbers that has enormous ramifications. The interior dynamics of the population itself are changing. There are fewer young people many more elderly people, and a resulting seismic shift in economies with fewer workers paying into the overarching socialist-style states. The nanny state, which is supreme here in European nations and quickly getting a stranglehold in the U.S., thanks Obama, is running out of money. It needs to dial back on how much it doles out and then turn around and increase the amount it taxes its citizens. Just ask Greece and Spain and Portugal and Ireland and Italy. A shrinking population translates into a catastrophe for a nation's economy, and the country cannot keep borrowing indefinitely to offset the economic turmoil. Margaret Thatcher, former British Prime Minister, once famously said, the problem with socialism is eventually you run out of other people's money. The final gasp of the remaining Catholics here in Europe may very well be, quote, you should have listened to the Pope. The church was right. It has fallen to the Catholic Church, as it always does, to save the world. The question we as Catholics must seriously consider is this. Does the world want to be saved? God love you. I'm Michael Voris.
RealCatholicTV.com has changed its name. We're now ChurchMilitant.tv. New name on the dog tags, same battle plan for the salvation of souls. ChurchMilitant.tv. Join us in combat, like us on Facebook.